I want my community to recognize the sacrifice. I had a protester spit on me. My anger from that point on was debilitating. Elson, U.S. Army, from 1967 to 1969. Initially, it went straight to Fort Benning, Georgia, where I took basic training. I had 30-day leave and went to Vietnam. So I was point man for my platoon, and we was taking rocket fire, which is hard to dodge. I was the radio man at that point, and I was next to my platoon leader. Helmet was towed up. M16 that I had in my hand was towed up. Had it not been for the, the radio the, uh, on my back, I probably would have been KIA myself. But my platoon leader, part of his brain was in my face. That was the most impactful moment. It changed my whole perspective about the war, about life. My best experience, I think, in Vietnam was serving with the guys. We became brothers forever. And we look forward to coming back to the world. We was gonna do all these amazing things. And when I came back through Fort Lewis, there was uh, protesters everywhere. I, I couldn't understand them protesting against me and uh, those of us that served. So that anger ate my life up as a young person. So being a returning wounded from Vietnam, I felt my country let me down. So I started using drugs, self-medicating, which I did for about three or four years. My first ex encounter with drug use was mopping when I got hit. Somebody in Vietnam introduced me to heroin. I separated myself from everybody that knew me. I probably OD 10, 15 times. It was a suicide journey. I robbed banks to get drug money. A twisted sense of, of uh, revenge. I had life without the possibility to parole. The warden, he was uh, actually my case manager. He, he was a veteran. One day I looked up, the law had changed. And this warden went up to parole board with me. And he was the reason I got out of prison. I became a different person because I felt the wrong that I had done. I was not in my right mindset. So I, I apologized to my family and to my country. Uh, the day I got out of prison, I went to VA. So they put me in what they call the CWT program, Comprehensive Work Therapy for Disabled Veterans. And I went through that program and they hired me. And the therapy has helped a lot because it teaches me how to do these things that I need to do for myself, even when I'm by myself. PTSD is a bad behavior disorder. You trigger it and you got bad behavior. I go talk with my therapist once a month, you know, and that keep me from being in crisis. I learned to look at myself and accept the fact that I had a mental problem and that mental problem could be my master or I could master it. Peace with my PTSD. I got peace with myself. And since then I have been working with VSO, a Vietnam Veteran of America. That's my therapy. We are brothers, you know, when, when one roll, all of us roll. We, we have a saying that all gave some, but some gave all. And I should be just as proud of what I gave. The community is there for you. You know, you need to be able to enjoy your freedom, the freedom that you serve to protect and provide for everybody else, you need to enjoy them and you can't enjoy them if you're not taking care of your mental health. You just can't.